All right, fourth graders, today we are starting in on a new study. Um, this short unit is going to be about squares and rectangles. And so today we're going to look at the um, properties of squares and rectangles. Now, some of you might be saying, oh my goodness, we've been doing this in first grade, second grade, third grade. What can you teach me new about squares and rectangles? Well, we'll see about that. All right, so let's go ahead and um, look first at this figure. And this, of course, is a square. So a square has four sides, of course. And what's special about a square, there's one, two, three, and four. And what's special about a square is that this four-sided uh, figure, um, all or in a square, all sides are the same length, and that's shown by these tick marks. So there's one tick mark, another one, another one, another one. That's showing that each of those sides are the same length. And you can see um, AB is 15 inches. So because this is a square, that also tells us that BC is going to be 15 inches. DC will be 15 inches and DA will be 15 inches. So even if these measurements weren't written around the side, if you see four single tick marks and it gives you one side, then you can infer that the other lengths will be the exact same measurement because in a square, four, um, it has four sides of the equal length. Now in a square, the opposite sides are also parallel. So let's first look at this pair of parallel sides. We have AD is parallel to BC. So that's one pair of parallel sides. And then we have AB is parallel to DC. That's the second pair of parallel sides. So in a square, opposite sides are parallel and a square has two pair of parallel sides. Finally, um, a square is made up of right angles. So angle A is a right angle, which is 90 degrees. Angle B is a right angle. Angle D is a right angle. And angle C is a right angle. So a square has four right angles. So I'm sure you can start to see how we're starting to use our math vocabulary to really describe these, this shape, right? So we're, we're using that word parallel, um, same length, 90 degrees, right angles. Uh, and so what I would encourage you to do while you're working on your math assignment is really push yourself to use that smart math vocabulary. Now let's look at a rectangle. So a rectangle is also a four-sided figure. So we have one, two, three, four, right? There we go, get that straight. Ooh, there we go, better. Okay, so it has four sides. Now the opposite sides are equal in length. So we can see here that side e at or sorry e h and side f g are equal in length they both have one tick mark so that says that this side length is the same as this side length and side e f is shown with two tick marks and side h g has two tick marks and that shows us that those two sides are equal in length. So in a rectangle, opposite sides um, are of equal length. So in, an, in a rectangle, opposite sides are also parallel. So if we look at side EF, EF is parallel to HG and EH is parallel to FG. So opposite sides are parallel. And as you can see, a rectangle has two pair of parallel sides. So here's one pair, here's the second pair. So it has two pair of parallel sides. And finally, we can see that a rectangle also has 
four right angles. And we know a right angle uh, measures are at 90 degrees. So it has four 90 degree angles. So you may have noticed that a square and a rectangle share some uh, very common um, attributes, right? Right angles, two pair of parallel sides, opposite sides equal in length. So my question to you is this, is a square a rectangle? To help you figure that out, there's another short little video on your virtual learning plan today uh, titled that, Is a Square a Rectangle? And I'd like for you to take a look at that and answer that question.